Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I've got the Too Faced Lip Injection Gloss that I'm gonna be testing out with you guys. This is the Lip Injection Extreme, so it is supposed to be a lot more extreme than the normal lip plumpers. And I actually haven't tried the Too Faced Lip Plumpers yet, but I love lip plumpers, so I'm excited to see how this is. And we're gonna be starting off with the Extreme one. I actually got this little mini one in a Too Faced kit that I got from Sephora on a previous haul. And it came with a mini waterproof better than sex mascara and the full size bronzer and it came with this bag inside of this cute little mini beach tote which i already have filled up with my samples <laughs> before i get into today's video i want to give a quick shout out to tiffany Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you guys want to shout out in my videos, make sure to watch the entire video and look out for the shout out word. It did come with a little pamphlet. It does say instant and long-term lip plumper. The Lip Injection Extreme's breakthrough formula delivers both immediate and long-term plumping with scientifically proven advanced lip volumizing technologies Apply day and night to naturally and dramatically hydrate, nourish, and increase lip volume. 97% of people says it delivers instant results, makes their lips feel moisturized, and 93% of people said it made their lips look fuller and more plump based on their customer survey results, which it doesn't say how many people were included in this group. It could have literally been 10 people. You don't know. And then it says you may experience a slight intense tingle that can last up to 5 to 10 minutes. So... And then obviously do not apply this to your skin outside of the lip line. If you do, it'll probably get red and keep away from children. I do want to say also this packaging is super cute. It's got a gold top and then this is kind of like a medium pink color. However, I feel like it's probably not going to come out as dark pink. I feel like it's going to be a little bit more clear on the lips and maybe just like a pop of color. So let's go ahead and try this out. Let's see if I can take this. I love lip plumpers, so I'm hoping... I'll be able to feel the pain. Mmm, it smells really good. It smells, it smells really fruity. I like want to eat this. Don't eat this, guys. It is not for eating. It smells so good though. It smells like strawberry. And it's really soft on your lips. Okay, let's see. Well, nothing's happening yet. Okay, we are about 30 seconds in and I'm starting to feel the tingle. This is probably the strangest analogy. I almost feel like somebody is taking like needles over my lips. Like I feel like somebody's like derma rolling my lips. I feel like my lips look a little bit darker in color and I'm feeling the tingling. Like I have never used a lip plumper like this before. I am like loyal to the Grande Cosmetics lip plumpers and like their plumping feels like nice. But this one, this one feels like somebody's like needling me from like every direction. Okay, this is not very pleasant guys. This is not very pleasant. Are my lips looking bigger yet? I feel like they look slightly plumper. We'll see. I'll check back in about 10 minutes. But while we wait for them to plump up a little bit more, I also am noticing a little bit of redness around my lips. I don't know if that's from me like rubbing them together. But I will have to say I do love the formula, like the texture of the formula. It's very soft on the lips and it feels really nice. It feels really moisturizing. I love the scent. The scent is like to die for. However, it's hard when you put this type of scent in this type of lip gloss because this one's like an extreme lip plumper and I feel like sometimes people want to taste test the scented lip glosses just because people just do that and I feel like that could be a bad mix if somebody tries to do that, which you know guys, Clearly, don't eat your lip glosses. They're not safe to eat unless it says it's edible. Also, I don't know if this is the flavor or the shade, but it does say bubblegum yum at the bottom of the package. I kind of wish they would have given it like a strawberry name or something just to go along with the scent inside. I'm gonna put in a before photo and an after photo to show you guys my lips after about 10 minutes 
to see if it did anything. I do feel like the tingling has gone down. There's still a slight tingle here and there, but it's not like it was a few minutes ago. So that's nice. And I feel like my lips almost like slightly feel like a little bit numb, just like a hair. And I think that's just from whatever plumping stuff is in here. Typically with a plumping gloss, what it is is they put irritants in it. So it irritates your skin and then it reacts by plumping and turning red. And that's just how these products work. Have any of you guys tried the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme yet? I have seen people like cry from this and I feel like I was tearing up a little bit before. I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. And I feel like I'm getting a little bit of plumpness here, but I don't think this is a type of product that I would look forward to using. It was kind of painful and kind of not like the nicest experience, but beauty is pain. So if you guys are willing to go for it, I'd say try it out. I would say though that I do feel like the lip injection extreme is more of an extreme way to get plumped lips. I don't think you have to go to these lengths to get plumped lips. Like I stated earlier, I use the Grande Cosmetics Lip Plumper and I don't have to go through this pain. I don't know if you guys can see, it's starting to get really red around the outer part of my lips. It almost looks like I have like an ombre lip product on. I'm gonna sit this out. We're gonna wait five more minutes to get the full 15 minutes and then I'll do the comparison photos. All right, guys, it has been the full 15 minutes. I will have to say my lips actually do look a lot plumper and maybe a little bit more plump than some of the other plumping glosses I have used. So it definitely will give you that plump effect. Today's video shout out word is lip plumper. If you comment lip plumper down in the comments first, you'll get a shout out in my next video. And I'm kind of on the fence. Like I feel like they look plumper, but then it's also a little bit hard to tell because it does outline your lips in dark red. So it almost makes them like pop a little bit more. I like the final result and I'm not really feeling too much tingling or anything right now. It feels a little bit weird. Moving my lips a little bit. I guess there's maybe just a slight tingle left, but it's not like before. I feel like the burning lasted maybe like five minutes. If you do have sensitive lips or don't like lip plumpers, I would not recommend this to you. If you do like lip plumpers, give it a shot. I do like the coloring of my lips. I feel like they look really pretty with that on and they do look plumped. I will say that, but do I think it's like worth it? It depends on what you're doing. Like if I was going to like an event or like something where I want my lips to look super plumped, I feel like I would do it, but I, I don't think I could do this every single day, like at least twice a day. I think that just like is painful. It's like not good. I want to know like what the active ingredients they use for their plumper. Every plumping gloss has a secret formula. There's no ingredients on this. I'm like 50-50 on this. I love it, but I hate it. I love the color that it gives my lips. I love that it does do what it says it's supposed to do. It gives you that tingle so you feel something extreme. It does plump your lips. It is a little bit painful, which lasts anywhere from a minute or a few minutes. So if you're willing to go through that pain, get your hands on one of these. This is probably the most extreme lip gloss that I have tried. I really like this formula. It's keeping my lips nice and moisturized. It's not super sticky and tacky and it smells amazing. Hey guys, so I actually finished filming my video about 30 minutes ago, but I did want to jump back on here just because my lips are feeling really hydrated and moisturized. However, they're like looking normal now. They're not plump at all. So I do feel like the plumpness only lasts maybe up to a half hour. The hydration lasts a lot longer as I'm seeing, but my lips just look normal now. So I did want to come on here and just share that with you guys because I don't know if it's worth going through the hassle of that burning if it's not going to last a long period of time. However, a lot of lip plumpers do have ingredients in them like hyaluronic acid and some other things that do naturally plump your lips because that's naturally found in the body and over time if you use it consistently it does help plump your lips so yeah but just wanted to share this with you guys I'm not seeing the plumpness anymore but I do feel like I have a nice gloss on my lips still so those are my thoughts on the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme in Bubblegum Yum 
thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys haven't, make sure to subscribe down below, turn your post notification bell on, and hit that like button. I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.